Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another FIFA 16 Ultimate Team video and today it is called The Finisher. We have one player in this week's Team of the Week that just reminds me of his Team of the Season card last year or the year before. I can't remember exactly. He is absolutely incredible and the team that I was using him in, I was trying a little something different. So if you do enjoy, drop a like on the video. really do recommend like this team as well. Just, just go, go and build it, try it, see what you like. But yeah, if you are needing Ultimate Team coins to afford these players head over to fifa ultimate team coins.com huge christmas sale my code gives you five five percent off then they've already got 15 percent off so 20 percent off coins get them while they're cheap stock up and if you are wanting game codes you can head over to g 2 and use the code fuji as well for a discount we're ready to check the player the team let's get into it so i'm going to put my hands up and say i don't usually use the 442 formation but today i've decided to just to go with a little bit of a change because the problem that I've always had with it is that it's open with the two centimeters. Even when you're using the 442 where you have the two CDMs, it's still a little bit open in the attack. But one thing that it's great for is keeping possession, moving it around. So if you've got basically poor passes of the ball, everyone is very, very close to each other. There's little boxes all around the pitch. So attacking wise is brilliant. But defending, yeah, sometimes you will get caught up. But this the team and the way it was performing was very, very good. I've got Buffon in goal. I've got Abate, Uragani. I, mm, yeah, he's all right. Like, he was in there for chemistry, to be fair. Well, he doesn't really need to be in there, but I decided to use him. We've got Miranda. We've got Elusi. Elus, 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 I think so. I think I think that's his name. He's got pretty good free kicks and he's not a bad player. We've got Gaetan in there. We have Guarin. Castro in form. Bellarabi, who's brilliant. Abamyang and Icardi. This man is, I am going to give him the title, the finisher. It's perfect for him. He is so clinical and the partnership with him and Abamyang, he complements Icardi so well. I think that Abamyang is probably the best striker that I've used on Ultimate Team to date, not because of his pace, because it's not just because of that. It's his finishing, it's his ball control, it's his strength, it's his jumping, it's his height. He has everything that you need for a sweaty striker on Ultimate Team. And then Icardi, yes, he's not the best at dribbling, but if you use him correctly, which is what I was doing, then you're just going to be scoring tons and tons of goals. Very, very good player. I bought him for 20,000 coins, dirt cheap, and he's definitely a player that you're going to be wanting to try out. So yeah, I've got some awesome goals. Let's get into it. So I've always liked Icardi on FIFA, and last year, Year, or was it the year before when he had that team of the season card it was fantastic the way he felt on the ball it was really really light and with the fifa 16 card that is pretty much what you're getting dribbling wise just don't do too much with him he's not that kind of player but if you use him uh, effectively which is uh, him taking up good positions like naturally he's got 89 positioning in game so he's either creating space on the edge of the box or inside the box and then a simple pass through to him he will score if he's in the position to get the shot away the cross shot goals finesse shots he is a fantastic finisher and he's even very very good in the air like his jumping stat uh, off the top of my head I think it's like 94 and he's got decent heading accuracy as well he's a very very, very good player. And like I was saying, with, with the Abamyang and Icardi link, it, they just complement each other so well. Abamyang's going to run down the line-ish, like on the right-hand side, and maybe draw in your opponent's defenders. And that's going to give Icardi a little bit more space, just because he's not the best at dribbling. But he can do the no-touch, and he's actually pretty quick. I love Icardi. He is a very, very cheap, fun player to use if used correctly. And I really do highly recommend trying him out. He could play in a one up top formation, two up top. I wouldn't play him cam. I was just trying to like list out a few things, but no, he definitely, you can play him in a couple of uh, different formations for sure. And he just works really, really well. Like he's just a simple player to get you goals and he's cheap. He's like 20,000 coins. Without a doubt, I recommend it. And with the 442 formation, I kind of like it and I don't like it. There is a lot of negatives with it, but definitely a lot of positives. And with the players that I was using, it was working very, very well. So please feel free to go and try it and let me know in the comment section what you actually think about this formation. Um, definitely, like the, the wingers are, are, are always offer support to track back, and I think Gaitan and Berarabi are perfect for that. And it just looks really well balanced. Like Castro's perfect, Guarin's perfect for that box to box role. 
I really, really like it. I'm actually starting to fall in love with the 4-4-2 again. It's just like the basic formation. And yeah, it works really, really well with these players. So if you do, if you did enjoy, please do drop a like. And definitely, 100%, go try Akadi out. Get some goals with him and have some fun. So yeah, thanks ever so much for watching. And Akadi, the finisher, is a beast. Take it easy. Team out. Peace. <laughs>